Introduction Time management is very important in everyone's life. One must know how to manage time. Time is precious, so, it must be used effectively and one must be time conscious. Delegation is essential when time management is conducted, then only efficiency and productivity of an organization can be attained. Efficiency in time management may help you to accomplish more tasks in less time. Study skills, note-taking, reading comprehension, time management. Learning means acquiring knowledge. Time management helps in learning by helping an individual to be alert, use time properly and create a good learning habit. We must prioritize our goal first, then we can save our time. Studying skills help reduce the workload. Note-taking helps in recalling of a particular subject better. Note-taking ensures that a given work is fulfilled in the exact mode and at the right time. Note-taking helps in preparation of the exam by noticing the key points on writing an essay. Many schools and colleges are using time management as a subject. From this we can understand the importance given for time management from the schooling days itself. Frustration can be avoided using proper time management. Positive attitudes towards learning can be built up through active reading. Reading comprehension helps to consume our time. Habit of reading may help in managing time. Reading comprehension is considered while conducting an interview in an organization. Reading helps expand our knowledge and development. Preparing for and taking exams. Time management in learning can be used by making a timetable of what to study at what time. Before preparing for an exam, a person must make a self-assessment and must not be anxious. The candidate must write key points on a paper, and based on it, studies must be conducted. The person writing exam must review the study materials before entering the examination room. Learning styles Learning styles do not give prior importance to a person's skill and knowledge but helps in understanding a subject better than others. There are different styles of learning. They are perceptual modality, information processing and personality patterns. It focuses on the learner. Perceptual modalities define biological reactions based on the physical environment and indicate the way how we adopt data efficiently. We must be able to learn our perception style so that we can format the information that we process. This style helps the educators to understand the physiology when learning program is conducted. Information processing compares how we sense, think, solve problems, and remember information. Everybody has a definite, constant and different way of perceiving, organizing, and retaining information what they learn. Personality patterns focus on how we present ourselves to others. Studying these differences allows us to predict the way we will react and feel about different situations. Adult Learning Theory There are a number of theories that are put forward to explain individual differences in the learning procedure. Adults will commit to learning when the goals and objectives are considered realistic and important to them. Application in the real world is important and relevant to the adult learner's personal and professional needs. Adult learning theory is oriented towards a concept called andragogy, which implies art and science of helping the adults to learn. Pedagogy means the art and science of helping children to study. This theory states that there is an identifiable difference between the child learners and the adult learners. The adult learners move to the next step only after successfully processing their experience in the previous step. This is mainly because the adult will have experience, more self-directing and will be internally motivated to study subjects. Mind-Body Connection The views regarding mind-body connection was observed decades ago. Your body responds to the way you think, feel and act. This is often called the mind-body connection. We can learn our thoughts to positively influence our body responses by decreasing the degree of stress. Our mind and body are closely connected to each other. A cancer patient can overcome his or her disease if he or she has a strong willpower in his or her mind that the disease will be cured soon. 
When coming to the students, it is related to the level of interest of the students and their approach towards the subject. There are some exercises to calm and empower one's mind from the stress, increase and develop a sense of control, reduce anxiety and pain, enhance sleep, continuously strengthen the immunity system, try to reduce the side effects of the medical procedures, enhance the ability to heal, try to reduce the recovery time and shorten hospital stays. How the environment plays a role in learning It is widely accepted that the effectiveness of a learning program attended by an individual is also influenced by certain things other than the tutor and the course materials. An effective learning environment enables the students to learn faster and thus time can be saved. The environment plays a significant role in establishing a learning outcome. Every corner in the classroom has its own importance in learning process. The learning environment includes the classroom, the surroundings, the teacher, the course materials provided, the location of the study center etc. The classrooms must have enough space to conduct discussions, the learning area should be calm and quiet and must be equipped with modern facilities. Conclusion Time is valuable and cannot be regained. To manage time effectively, consider time as a human instead of a thing. Therefore, to manage time first we have to list the activities, then prioritize and then allocate time for each activity. If we follow the activities as mentioned above, we can make the time management process an easy task. Study Corgi can help you make your studies smarter. Visit studycorgi.com for more samples like this, study tips, and writing tools.